1v1 Caldera's refinery blue side. Its text plays a plague champion starts out range combat with its damage of a time bolter can get melee weapons some nice utility and support can build turrets and repair but it's very slow and up against on the red side is Twala Lee plays a tech marine starts out range combat does some good damage can also support with structures repair and deal with enemy vehicles quite nicely this is blood ravens on show double scouts for Twala Lee so you have two commanders with range weapons the ability to repair and they can build turrets on the surface they seem quite similar but actually very very different tech marine has some pretty good vehicle support with his global the plague champion I'm not sure why he was given a turret by relic I've said it before but I think it was just pretty lazy he can also repair which is a bit strange given that none of his other support can help vehicles out at all his shrines his worship only support infantry also of course his breath of Nurgle heal is an infantry heal so he's kind of got this juxtaposition going of being able to repair stuff and get these strange turrets but he can't do anything else to help out vehicles Tech Marine will do more damage in a stand up fight with his default bolter but the Plague Champion has the awesome damage of a time bolter which is great for taking out retreating stuff also has some natural suppression resistance in that he fires at the same rate but not only that when suppressed he actually moves very very quickly when he's suppressed compared to say those Chaos Space Marines although he's slow slower than them by default if they were both suppressed he'd be moving a lot faster so against suppression he's pretty good because he can stand there and just shoot back or try and move around and flank 2 to 1 cap early on for Tex he's gone double Chaos Space Marines don't see this very often especially 1v1s as Chaos Twalali with some Devastators up might see some fancy double shotgun scout with sergeants play with grenades and shotgun blasts all over the place heretics closing in on the tech marine they don't want him firing that bolter as you can see here Twalali putting his tech marine in a very awkward position so only about three or four heretics could actually get into combat with him there just space marines with their bolters firing away at the scouts not quite getting a model and the tech marine trying to get models off these Heretics, which he'll be pretty good at with that bolter of his. There's a reload. Can he get one? And down goes one. These heretics pretty lucky not to lose a model earlier. Catching scouts in retreat, but can't get a model off of them either. Devastators are now up with their heavy bolter. Will suppress infantry within the firing arc. Just space marines backing off in response. Tex taking his natural back. Decapped by scouts most likely and is going for some raptors. Double CSM into raptors. Very, very upfront aggro damage, aggressive build. But you do not transition into anti-vehicle very, very well compared to say double tactical marines and assault marines which would get melters and missile launchers and all sorts of good stuff. If Tolali can survive this pretty aggressive tier 1 build, get a dreadnought out. Then Tex might be in a little bit of trouble. Could get some Havocs, I suppose. Fakes out a grenade, forcing the Chaos Space Marines to retreat, but they didn't lose a model there. Tex with the Raptors up. These guys jump around and suppress nearby enemies when they land. Pretty decent DPS, I think 30 DPS with their chain swords, and they can get an Aspiring Champion in Tier 2. Not quite as much hit points as Assault Marines, but they do cost slightly less and do slightly more damage also. Scouts losing a model. They might bait them into melee, then throw a grenade. There it is. And a pretty nicely thrown grenade, but it hit all three models perfectly evenly, I think. And thus didn't take any down, but does force them off. Does a big chunk of damage there. Took half their hit points pretty much. Bile spew up for the Plague Champion. An awesome weapon. Kind of close range, but does a lot of damage to infantry and takes down structures very, very quickly. He's going for a power bash here with it. Synergizes quite well with his Fetid for some suppression, saving him from melee squads and also his heal since he's going to be getting close to enemies to use it. So the thing about the Plague Champion's War Gear, I'm often compelled to get more than one of his items at once. That might just be an oversight from me. It often feels like you need 
to complement a war gear choice with another 464-1. We'll see how Tex does with just the bow speed. He's taken down that entire farm and that levels him up. Good source of XP hitting gens. 448-421. Good way to help level up your tactical marines in tier 1 if you give them their flame and start bashing gens with them. Chasing off this plague champion, the mastercrafted bolter is up for the tech marine, also has bionics, so a lot of anti-melee stuff for this tech marine. That instant suppression and the knockback, and the plague champion almost going down, 434, 421. Raptor's coming back to the mid, if he went for the axe and the mechanicum. Quality in tier 2, those Raptors would have been in trouble. He would have dealt with them pretty nicely. 2 to 1 for Twilight Lee, still very, very even in VPs though. Kill Spaceman is trying to take this contested power, and as you can see, there only one model is facing. The Tech Marines are only one modeling firing, and that was the high powered shot taking out a model there. Double Devastators for Twilight Lee. In fact, screw that, double, triple Devastators. What is he up to? Double Scouts, triple Devs. Pretty annoying to deal with, incredibly annoying in fact. Is he going to risk a quick blood crusher here? Safest would be maybe a couple of blood letter squads. Double blood letters would actually be incredibly painful for Twilight 8. With those raptors there, I think he'll hold off the Aspiring Champion for now and try and get a tier 2 unit out. Lots of pressure here for Twilight 8. Keeping his Devastators moving. Shotgun Scouts with Sergeant and these guys also. Really cool 2 1 build from Twala Lee. Has tons of suppression, triple heavy bolters, and the Master Property Bolter and double shotguns. Every unit he has on the field can suppress. Insane amount of control. Grenade on the plate. Champion nicely done. Forces him off. Raptors jumping in. Get a shotgun blast to the face. They do have that three seconds or so of knockback immunity when they land their jump, much like Storm Boys and Assault Marines, and I assume the Interceptors with their teleport, but I'm not entirely sure about that. 368, 421. Shotgun blast in the face with these Kill Space Marines. Tolali, as you can see, they're getting his scouts as close as he could to get that close range damage from his shotguns and shooting the generators point blank. This is incredibly annoying. Tex is in tier 2. And what is this? Sneaky Heretics with Aspiring Champion are decapping Twilight natural. And more Devastators for Twilight Quad Devastators in tier 1. I used to see Edger do this with Space Marines way, 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 way back. Plague Champion level 2 with just that Bile Spew up. Not a whole lot he can do with it apart from Bastions. Looks like he's going to have a look at this. Only the node here. And that's not even finished yet. Blood letters are on the way for Tex. Took longer than I thought to get on the field. Has not upgraded his kill Space Marines. Tech Marine forced off by the Raptors. Had no energy so he couldn't use his powerful sweep. Maybe used it already recently. Devastator is backing away now, repositioning to combat the new threat from the new angle. Heretics in retreat, having capped that natural victory point. Shotgun scouts here. Good synergy with those Devastators, able to get right up close to those Raptors, knowing they get suppressed and shoot them with those shotguns. Kill Space Marines in retreat also, looking pretty dire for Tex, but the blood letters are up. Demon infantry with infantry armor. They do synergize well with worship being demons and they do a hell of a lot of power melee DPS. They can also teleport passively and actively at a longer range and warp shift out to take no damage. They can be very annoying to deal with if used well, especially when they hit level 2 and they can use the teleport in and then warp shift a lot quicker because they have more energy if they get in tr trouble. 261, 421. Are they going to lose a model here? Well, walk shifted out just in time to avoid that grenade. They cannot attack or cap when in this state, but take no damage. So if you have worship nearby, great way to heal them up. Here's the fourth Devastator squad capping. 
Twilight League does have one generator up. The Plague Champion is capping this contested power. Scout shooting up this one. Can Tex get out of his power? Looks like he is making his way mid and he's got some Marcos each kill space when he's on the way. Strange choice for me. I would have thought he'd... Uh, maybe he doesn't know that there's four Devastator squads. So I would have thought he'd be thinking about more ways to deal with Devastators right now. Blood letters. Look at the damage they did to those Devastators. That was scary, scary stuff. Scout's there to save them on knockback. Blood letters, of course, cannot be suppressed because they're demons. So aren't afraid of heavy bolters to the face. 192421. Down goes all of this power again. He's keeping the pressure up here with this bow spear on this power. Not letting Twilight get anything. And a turret's going up. Tarantula turret on the way for a tech marine, which I think honestly is better than the Plague Champions. Plague Champions turret does have a wider firing arc, but the tech marines does more damage and I think it suppresses quickly quicker as well. Grenade is dodged this time, in fact hits one of their own models, almost wipes out those scouts and levels again to three. He has done very well with Justice Bile Spewer. Gonna be forced off here though I think. Almost goes down, very very nearly goes down, needs to retreat through double devastators so most likely will go down, goes down before that in fact. 163, 421. 2 to 1 cap for Twilight Elite. Quad Devastators. He's getting more Marcos into kill space I'm not sure why he's doing this. They're just going to get suppressed. Would have thought he'd get some more blood letters on the field or a Dreadnought or something. Maybe a Blood Crusher Charger in there. Torret now taking damage from those Inferno Bolts. Raptors have their Aspiring Champion and they are getting into melee combat with the Torret. He's going to go down and is wasted just shooting at those heretics a long range which wasn't doing a whole lot these guys with their advanced targeting in fact all four squads have the advanced targeting raptors catching up to those devastators doing a lot of damage as you saw there took out two models but the csm still getting shut down quite badly by all this suppression the blood letters are teleporting on these devs Forces them off. These guys down to one model, running into another Devastator squad. They didn't quite have the energy there to warp shift out. Retreat grenade, nicely done. Takes out one model. Some Nurgle worship. A lot of talk on the forums that this should perhaps see a buff of some kind. Nurgle worship in general. It was lowered compared to retail from five hit points per second down to 3.5. 110421. High powered shot forcing off the Chaos Space Marines. And Tolali retains the 2 to 1 cap. 104, 4 to 1. Not looking good for Tex. Blood Crusher on the way though. I think he should have got this thing out earlier instead of upgrading his Chaos Space Marines. 96, 4 to 1. Raptor's jumping on the Tech Marine. He might use his powerful sweep. Did he not have the energy? I don't think he had the energy. I think it's 60 energy to use. 87, 4, 2, 1. This guy's still level 1. Tons of stuff in Texas base there. Some Nurgle worship to help it heal up. 82, 4, 2, 1. This might be all over for Tex. Blood Crusher does hit the field though. A demon with vehicle armor. Very quick, good DPS, single target, but only 600 hit points can go down very quickly if not supported. You can support this guy with worship. 68, 421. Unfortunately, Nurgle worship doesn't do anything extra for demons, since you get the great benefit of healing up infantry with it. 62, 421. There is the charge, trying to get in between the Devastators, trying to get close enough so none of them can fire on him. One is forced off. This one will face him up with advanced targeting up. That was nasty. Those vengeance rounds do a lot of damage close up. Raptor's in trouble here. And retreat. Oh, we can see retreat grenade. No, no energy left. It took a hell of a lot of damage. Soaked up a lot though. Now come the blood letters. There's Mark Rosin's kill space marines. Doing a ton of damage. Tex forces Twilight off the mid. 
Protect Marine find any levels to two. What's the Plague Champion up to here? He's going to turn and fight at the Tech Marine. He files for passively lowering damage and speed of the target. Bad letters are going to run right into a Devastate here. And there's the powerful sweep. They warp shift that while we're trying back away. Some Nurgle worship mid, healing up the Blood Crusher and all of this infantry and Chaos Space Marines are capping 29-41. He's pushed him off then finally. Can Tex solidify in mid? Twilight is still in tier 1 because of all of these Devastators he's got. That is 5 Devastator squads. Obviously a highly experimental build here from Twilight. Tex already has 500 red. Does he have Vengeance Runners on all five of them? Can he take this Devastator out with Vengeance Rounds? Can he take this Blood Crusher out, I should say, with Vengeance Rounds? 29403. 2 to 1 cap. That's always so unpredictable when fighting Twilight League. What is he going to come up with? Trying to spread out his Devastators a bit, I think, so. Raptors couldn't jump and suppress two squads. 29-393 and Tolalis could just retake mid here. Can he pull this off? Staying tier 1 and winning. Scouts forcing the CSM off the cap at least and now they're going to be suppressed and here come the Scouts with their up close shotgun shenanigans. Kicking off mid, Blood Crush is here. As other blood letters, there's the Raptors jump, and all of the Devastators forced off, and Tex will retake mid. Heretics getting very close to going down, there's a powerful sweep against these Heretics. Can't quite finish them off with his melee attacks, and should be forced off. There's a blood letters there, and a blood crusher there, and we might get a triple cap here for Tex. And he's blob capping like crazy. Tech Marine is still here. Plague Champion is trying to cap mid, there we go. Sends his blood pressure in finally. 7 3 9 3. Can he get these 7 VPs? He has unbelievable amount of upkeep here, finally, and no map. What's his pop? He's at 75 pop in tier 1. 7 Three, eight, six. You might see a concede here from Tullerly. His experiment, his highly experimental build, has not quite paid off. Blood Crusher down to five hit points gets away and levels to two. As you can see, there he gets 90 hit points for hitting level two for some reason, instead of the usual 10%. And a heavy bolter turret coming up from the Plague Champion. You see the very, very wide firing arc from it. Where are his heretics? Need some worship support in mid. Here we go. Raptors back at base, healing up. They are level two. Big champion can now come and repair this blood crusher. There we go. You can repair and worship a blood crusher. That's a good thing about them. Devastate is capping. What is Tolali going to do here? His power got bashed over and over and over again, which didn't help. Might see one last push from him. Scouts all infiltrated. Seeing what's going on. So he should have seen that turret. That noble worship. And that blood crusher and those double CSMs be very difficult to punch through. These are fully upgraded CSM now with the Spiring Champion and Eternal War also. And look at the damage they're pouring onto this tech marine. That is crazy. That was about two seconds of fire. Level two tech marine got owned. 7293. Blood letters back at base. No reinforcement. By the looks of it, though, there's a grenade on the turret. Let's see what that does. Not a whole lot. You can actually use the blind grenades from assault marines to shut down turrets, which is pretty cool. About the only use for them, really. Very rarely see them used against garrisons. Here come Blood Letters, they didn't, have not reinforced. 
Balale seems re resigned to defeat here. 7 2 7 1. 2 to 1 for Tex. Hanging on to it. Pretty happy to stay mid. It's up to Twalali to push against him. Doesn't want to risk going for the natural and then being forced off and then losing mid. Here comes some scouts. Going to try and decap under infiltration. But as you can see, for the first few seconds of the decap, they will be revealed. And of course, these aspiring chapter heretics will reveal them anyway, so that was pointless. And they get away somehow. 7 2 5 1. Don't think Totally has a way back. Maybe try and come around. Cap up some of this stuff. Draw Tex away from the mid. It's a long shot though. Scouts in retreat, but they do get away. Vengeance rounds from the Devastators, but there's the Blood Letter jump. Or teleport. And then the warp shift. Looking very, very good now, Twex. Assault Marines are on the field though for Twalali. Jump troop that will disrupt units when they land. But there are Blood Letters, a Blood Pusher, and Melee Heretics there, so they can counter initiate quite well. I wonder if he has got them for that blind grenade. Plague champion suppressed there by a high powered shot. I think here are the assault marines. Here come blood letters though, and blood letters will tear them apart unless they could get a very good muster strike. But no way. We saw the instant knockback from those special attacks there. 7 2 2 6. Tech's playing it safe. Keeping his blood pressure back. Scouts forcing melee combat on a fake chap and he uses Aura of Decay to knock them over. GG says Twilali. And there is the concede. Very fun build to see him try it. Five Devastators. I think he finished with the four, did he? Yes. And Assault Marines at the end, but couldn't quite pull it off. I think he still needs to go tier two. He's still tier one here, and we're what, 20 minutes in? Crazy. Well, they have it. Tex doing a lot of damage with the spiral spear to that power. Has that won it for him? Because Tolali spent a lot getting generators. At least 500 rec, I think, on his gens. Even more if you count the node repurchases. So that would have kept him into tier 1. Maybe should have parked one of his devastators at this power once he knew Tex had that bio spear. I was surprised by the early purchase of these Marcos Inch CSM, but it paid off in the end. Raptors doing okay, can sometimes struggle late into tier 2. Blood Crusher as well, paying for itself. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.